to integrate each of the following with respect to x. So, A, we see here, integration of 4x plus 5 power of 4. So, actually, you can see number 1, which is substitution method. But here, what I'm going to show you is the one which which is much like easier, <laughs> right? But never mind, you can use either either one or two. So don't forget first for integration. First, we add power with one, and then we divide power. This is the main thing you need to know about integration. So this one is dx. So, the easier way instead of substitution to other unknown. Okay. So, if we have bracket and power. So, first, just right here. Just remember here. You, uh, you integrate as power first. So, this one would be 4x plus 5. So, you just write it. Uh, let it be. So, 4 plus 1. And then you divide with power. 4 plus 1 is 5. After that, you differentiate what is inside and put it here. So, 4x plus 3, when you differentiate, you get 4. See? So, here you see you have 4x plus 5. For example, if y is equal to 4x plus 5. So, dy over dx. When you differentiate, you will only have 4. So, this is it. So, first, you just let the bracket be don't touch the bracket you just do integration of power so we see here integration of power and then you divide with differentiation inside bracket so integration of power only and then divide with differentiation inside bracket so you see here this one you don't touch the bracket, you add the power, divide with power, this one, the rules, and then you divide with the differentiation inside bracket. So, here you will get 4x plus 5, 4 plus 1 is 5 divided by 20, and then don't forget to add plus c, plus c. Why we need to add c? Because this one is indefinite, maybe no range. From where to where, so we need to add plus c. Okay, now for b, integration of 2, 3x minus 2 cubed dx. So we see here the constant will be just that. So the 1 bracket with power, we do this one first. Add the power with 1, so 3 plus 1, and then you divide with this power, 4. And then you divide with the differentiation of this one. So 3x, when you differentiate, you get 3. Negative 2, a constant when you differentiate, you get 0. And don't forget to add plus c. So this one you will get. So this one can be cancelled out, right? 2. So you are left with 1. You don't really have to write 1 because anything multiply with 1, you will get that number back. So, this one would be 3x minus 2 power of 4 divided by 6 plus c. So, you see here. So, okay. Something like this. So, also further explanation in A. So, we see here what we do. Don't touch, don't touch the bracket. Add the power. You do integration of power first. And then divide with what is inside the bracket. Okay, so here for C, integration of 5x minus 11 power of 4 dx. So same, you don't touch the bracket. So you just write it back. And then you see add power to 1, divide with the power. And then divide what is inside the bracket. So 5x minus 11 is actually 5, right? Differentiate 5x, you get 5. So this one is, so since we don't have constant up here, it will be 5x minus 11, power of 5. 5 times 5 is 25 plus C. So D, 
integration of 3x minus 2 power of 5 divided by 5. So this dx. So we know that constant won't be affected. So we can just write 5 here. So here, integration of power only. So we don't touch what is inside the bracket. 3x minus 2 power of 6. You see, power of 6. And then you need to divide with the power. So division will be below, right? Because 1 divided by 2 is actually, you see here, it will be the denominator here, right? So integration of power done. Now we need to divide what is inside the Divide with differentiation inside the bracket. So the bracket, when we do differentiation, 3x will become 3. Constant will become 0. And then we need to pass c. So here will become 3x minus 2 power of 6. 5 times 6, 30. 30 times 3 is 90. So this is the answer. So e integration of 5 divided by 6x minus 3 power of 60x. So you see here like before we cannot let the power the this one the what, what the constant the constant the variable to be down here. So dx needs to be up. So this one is 5 6x minus 3 power negative 60x. You see here. So again like before constant won't be affected you can just take out 5 first. So, integration of power. Don't touch what is inside the bracket. 6x minus 3. So, we have negative 6 plus 1, right? And then, we need to add power with 1, divide with power. So, now the power negative 6 plus 5 becomes negative 5. Okay. And then, divide with differentiation inside the bracket. 6x minus 3. When you differentiate, you get 6. Right? Plus c. So here, 5 and negative 5 can be cut off, right? So above here, there's no constant. So we have 6x minus 3. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Divided by 6 plus c. So you don't want the n, the n1 to have negative power. So you bring it down. So when you bring it down, above would be 1. So this one is 6x minus 3 power of 5. So we get 6 plus c. So, f integration of 12 over 3x minus 5 power of 8. So, again, you bring the power up. 12, 3x minus 5. Don't forget dx. Negative 8, dx. So, when you integrate, again, the constant won't be affected. You can directly write. So, here, don't touch what is inside the bracket. Just write it back. Add the power with 1, negative 8 plus 1 and then you divide with the power. So, negative 8 plus 1 is actually negative 7, right? So, you have to also divide with differentiation inside the bracket. So, 3x minus 5 and you differentiate, you get 3. Don't forget plus c. So, here 12 and 3, you will get 4 here. So, 4, 3x minus 5, negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. See here, this is right here. Divide by negative 7 plus c, which is equal to, so you see here, this is the negative. So, we need to bring it down. So, when we bring it down, we only have 4 here. So, we see we have negative 7 here, which is 3x minus 5 power of 7. So, negative 7 will become 7 plus c. You see here negative is below here. It's actually the same as negative 4 over 7. 3x minus 5 power 7 plus c.